Roll VT. <laughs> oh, God, that took a bit longer than I was anticipating today. <laughs> oh, please excuse the funny noise in the background. My printer is actually printing now. Mercury. <laughs> Messing with me Wi-Fi. <laughs> Ah, oh, blimey. Okay, so I want to talk to you about Lunasat, which is also known as First Harvest, or Clearing the Field. Um, so you have three harvests um, in the wheel of the year. Um, Lunasad being the first, then Maybon, and then last harvest, which is sorry, I've got sorry in my eye. Um, which is Sawain, because Sawain is actually a harvest as much as it is anything else. Um, so um, Lunasad uh, is connected with the god Lu, who I will be using in the uh, ritual tomorrow. Uh, and giving offerings. So tomorrow morning, I'm going to be out seeing what I can harvest. I know we've got I know some blackberries in the garden and apples. Uh, I'm not sure what else will be around though because of all the sun and no rain that we had. So yeah. So what would happen at this time of year, Lunasat? Uh, which is why Lu is the god of you know, the, the games as well, and feasting and merriment, um, is that at that time, first harvest, uh, all the tribes would come together and there would be games and feasting and merriment. So, all really good. Um, and it was all around strength and endurance as well, yeah. Um, so it's like showing off, you know, what you got, so to speak. Um, and what's very interesting, yeah, about um, the, the kind of modern day version of that is the Pan American Games. Pan, who is also a god of abundance and of the earth. Yeah, it's not necessarily associated with fire but associated with earth which is abundance so it's very interesting the word pan is in there mm. very cool um so i suppose the, the question to ask yourself at this time at lunasad is are you stepping into your life with the fullness of your abilities yeah um do you allow yourself to shine like the sun like Lu? yeah because he is the shining one yeah uh and what vision do you hold of yourself what is your perception of yourself and can you shift that into the perception you would like to have of yourself yeah um because, you know, if you change your mind, you change many things. Uh -huh. But I was uh, listening to one of my men mentors, Andrea Hess, talking about manifesting. In, particularly, in particular, money. Because it's uh, the tool that we, we have to use in this particular incarnation. And the kind of mythology surrounding the whole mindset thing and abundance and manifesting what you want and so there was uh hang on, let me just let me just consult my notes so you have three is it? three vibrational states you have the spiritual vibrational state which is the fifth dimension the mind vibrational state which is the fourth dimension and the physical 
vibrational state, which is the third dimension, which is the densest one of the one of them all. Yeah, that's the one. Uh, if you're trying to manifest stuff, because money is a three dimensional thing, that's where you need to put your efforts. So mindset stuff and all that is great, but it's in the actual doing. Yeah. It's in the doing of things. It's the choices you make which will actually determine what you manifest, yeah? And if you start making these choices um, in relation to what you, what you really want to manifest, yeah, then that will automatically change the vibrational states of the fourth and fifth dimensions for you, yeah? Um... So it's not about, as she calls it, it's not about doing more, it's about doing differently, yeah? So those physical things that you do every day on a regular basis um, to manifest what you want by doing them differently, you will change the, the frequency, the vibration of how you resonate on the on the fourth and fifth dimensions yeah uh, we're going to go into this a lot more in the big course because I, i'm i'm still learning this at the moment so um it will it will come about in the big course yeah this whole thing around manifesting um so why why am i <laughs> why am i talking about that um because this is what Luna said is about. It's about, you know, manifesting the abundance of harvest. Yeah. Because you know, we don't really rely on it that much anymore unless you grow your own, you know, veggies and stuff. Um, but our ancestors were reliant on that abundance for to carry them through the winter. Um, so it was very it was an extremely important time, which is why there was lots of merriment and feasting and games yeah luna sad is all about abundance yeah and what's interesting is lou ties into that in in many ways but he is the god of business he knows his onions <laughs> yeah so and he's, he's he's quite a cool god to to connect to um he's very much very down to earth very you know pat you on the back and go come on kind of kind of deity yeah which you know when um when you look when you're looking at deity it's actually a reflection of what's inside of you it's not higher than you it's not different to you it's all the same yeah so it's actually yourself you are interacting with um so lunasat is the beginning of the harvest and spans the six weeks leading up to the autumn equinox. So it's it's a celebration of you know all those things that you can harvest now. So it's first fruits as well. So plums, there might be plums about, apples, um, blackberries. Uh, I'm not sure if we've got any elderberries around at the moment because I mean I would have thought we will have, but we're gonna go and have a look tomorrow, see what we can find. Um, So, so Lunasad comes from the word Lu, yeah. Um, as in the the celebration of Lu, who is um, well, they're saying in here is an Irish sun god. I think he's even older than that. I think he spans back longer, yeah, because he is also known as All Father. So our ancient, ancient ancestors would have worshipped him as All Father. So he's, he's older, way older. Uh, like Odin, for example, like Hecate. She is ancient, 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 ancient. She is, um, what's the word I'm looking for? She's a Titan goddess. She's not necessarily Greek or any of those other things. She's a Titan. She is, <laughs> she's up there. <laughs> or down here <laughs> um so 
um, the reason that Lou decided to throw this party, for want of a better word, uh, on the first her harvest is his mother was the goddess of the abundant harvest. And she was, she was killed. I forget how she was killed now. Um, but when she died, he declared that this day, the 1st of August, lunacide, not today, tomorrow, uh would be the day when they you know celebrate his mother um tail to to tail to i think that's how you pronounce it i don't know <laughs> i'll have a bash um uh so her name translates roughly as the great one of the earth so she was a huge um, goddess of abundance and harvest and all that stuff that they you know that they were absolutely 100 percent reliant on when they were growing their own food um on a on a kind of if you're looking at the wheel in terms of learning and energy that is when the soul is kind of coming to its fruition if you like so it's been learning it's been you know um, inspired it's been doing stuff so now the soul is um let's say it. it's what it's learned is coming to to bear yeah that's that's kind of how i see that um, and it does correspond to the southwest corner, which is what we've been working on with abundance. So it's perfect timing. Here. <laughs> I love it when these things come together. Um, uh, I'm pretty sure it's southwest corner. That's how I see it. Southwest corner. Let me just double check that. Uh, I think it's somewhere in here. I'm pretty sure it is. I know I've seen it somewhere in here. Uh, Southwest Lunasad, yes. Um, because the wheel of the year, and then this is something that I realized ages ago, but then I read it in this book. And I'm like, oh my god, <laughs> I was right. So intuitively I picked up on the wheel of the year and the cardinal directions. Uh, so eight cardinal directions. So you've got north, south, east, west, uh, northeast. Southeast, southwest, northwest. Yeah. Um, each one corresponds to a particular sabbat. Yeah. And the energy around that. So, for example, um, so west would be Maybon, which is the fullness of the main harvest. Yeah. Maybon is is autumn equinox, main harvest, balance. That, that fullness, yeah, um, which comes with that element of water and the um, the surrender to, you know, what will be. Because you do kind of, you know, it's like <laughs> you can only till the soil so much, you know, you have to wait and see what will come, yeah, um, in that harvest terms. Um, and then you move around, so then I'm, I'm pointing over here because <laughs> so it is, it helps me see it in my head. Um, so kind of northwest is Sawain. Um, so that's slowly coming around to north, which is earth, yeah, which is where things are born from. So and that's um, which solstice. So in my head, I'd already kind of worked that out in some kind of strange way, but then it was it was confirmed to me by this book, which was very cool. Um, so it is, it's about as well, um, because you can still sow seeds at this time as well, Luna said. Um, so there's there's kind of a a, a balance between sowing seeds and reaping so you might get in a second sow of seeds at this time as well um what else um 
I don't want to go on too much. I just want to give you a little idea. I'll give you an idea of things you can do, actually. Oh, Lou is also a warrior. He is a warrior. And he, he is um, more around the, the, the power and the skill of the warrior than the, the raw kind of this of a warrior yet yeah, he's very skilled so um it might not be how much he fights but how he, it's it's how you how you fight the battle not how often you um fight the battle yeah um so ways you can connect to this time of year you could write a prayer to the earth goddess for example um you know you could do connection to lou you know if you have done any kind of deity connection in the past you could do this for lou right now um if you start now and take it um up until may bomb that's that's perfect and that's uh six six weeks um other things you can do um i will be oh, i'm gonna do that tomorrow i'm kind of running out of time <laughs> um i'm gonna record um a meditation for tomorrow's ritual um so if you want to use that then you're quite welcome to it'll be posted up on the witches bazaar um what else can we do smudging is good um at this time of year um gathering seeds for next year for example so if any of your plants in your garden have, have seeded then you can take those seeds and store them for next year um Salt dough is something you could make, um, and there were well, there all kind of symbols around uh, this time of year. So if you just Google that, you'll find lots of symbols out there. Um, kitchen witchery. Um, oh, is that that's not vegan, so I'd have to veganize that. So maybe not that. You could make some raspberry vinegar. Raspberries are about at the moment. Uh, we did have some on our little tiny raspberry bush, but unfortunately, <laughs> all the sun came, everything's died back a bit, so um, it's a bit of a shame, really. Uh, so, yeah, you could make some raspberry vinegar, for example. Lemonade is always good. Lemons correspond to the element of fire. Um, kind of... <sighs> And this is not gratitude. This is honouring yourself as a as a powerful being, yeah, and kind of making a list of the things that you are proud of achieving, you know, in in this year so far. Um, you know, things you've done, things you've achieved, and be, you know, be proud that you've done that. Um, what else do we have here? Um, let me look in my other book, which is another really good book. Love this book, Sabbats. Um, it has loads of really cool ideas in this book. Summer Solstice, maybe on Luna Suds. Where are you? Ah, that would be somewhere else. That at the front. Oh. Oh. In there. Mabel. Luna said, there we go. <laughs> um, you can always throw a party. Yeah. Throw a party and just 
yeah, invite loads of loads of your friends and you know tap into the energy of merriment and feasting. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't matter? There are no hard and fast rules. Um, you can make things with blackberries, blackberry pie, blackberry jam, blackberry crumble. I don't like blackberries myself. I've never liked them. But yeah, you know, blackberries are abundant this time of year. Um, if you can find apples, then make something with the apples. Cornbread is good because corn relates to Lou and the harvest. Um, if you're a kitchen witch, that is. Uh, what else do we have? Do, 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 do. Um... If you're into making corn dollies, yeah, um, keep um, keep some of the the wheat, the corn, whatever it is that you use to make those. Keep some back, yeah, at this time for the spring when it comes. Um, it's a very cool thing to do. Um, now, what's interesting? Oh, this is interesting. Lunar sand was the traditional time for regicide or king killing. <laughs> Who knew that? <laughs> My goodness. That's a bit mad, that is. Um, what else do we have? So any kind of games, really. Um, so that, you know, board games or, you know, like physical games um, are always good. Now, let me just see. Cause, star, midsummer, Beltane, Lunar Sad. There's not that much there. Um, what associations do we have with Lunar Sad? Uh, do, 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 do. So it's also known as Festival of Green Corn, yeah. Um, so colours associated with Lunasad, red, gold, yellow, green, orange, pardon me, um, sharing food. So if you're holding a party, um, what I would do is get everyone to bring something, yeah. So it's then all the food is shared. Um, any sun deity, goddess or god, is good for lunar sun. Although obviously Lou, because <laughs> his name makes up the word, is, you know, he's a cool god, yeah. Um, potatoes as well you can harvest potatoes at this time uh, any kind of bread so whether that's cornbread or you know wheat bread or rye bread um crystals peridot and citrine are good for uh, tapping into the energy of lunar sand um what do we have around teas golden seal alfalfa tea are good for if you want to imbibe that energy um oils eucalyptus is good um creatures um things like the phoenix or the griffin centaurs um talking skulls it's not necessarily a creature but it's a it's kind of like an energetic being uh, mythical creatures um so yeah any kind of sun goddess or god is good for lunar set uh, i think 
that's about all I'm going to say on that, I think. Because um, if you're doing... Now, that is in our Curious Novice course. There is a, a document with loads and loads of ideas and history around um, all the Sabbats, Lunar Sad included. Um, so if you're doing a course, go and have a look at that. Yeah, definitely. Um, if anyone has any questions, it's going to be quite a simple ritual tomorrow. It's not going to be anything complicated. It will involve a, gui a, a blah, 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 involve a guided meditation, um, which you will be able to access afterwards on um, our website, thewitchesbazaar.com. Um, oils for this you know like in the incenses um frankincense fantastic um that's pure sun that is um what else um sunflower um oh, what are those oh, what are they called? <laughs> marigolds marigolds very good um basil is good um all spice berries are good in your incense um do, 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 trying to think what else can't think of anything else off the top of my head but there are plenty of places you can find uh, bits and bobs yeah around this uh this particular sabbat um you could even you know get really get crafting with it yeah <laughs> hi christian uh it's 4 p.m here in the uk um so yeah you know if, if you can't make tomorrow that's fine almost fire as well fire um so if you've got a little fire pit in your garden get a fire going yeah in honor of lou um hopefully it'll be nice and sunny tomorrow <laughs> so we can tap that energy as well um hemp as well is um corresponds to do um so that's the hemp tea is really really good that's okay christian um i was just talking about lunasad which uh we're having the ritual tomorrow and that will be in zoom yeah um i will post the link to the event uh tomorrow morning okay so that will be in the group tomorrow morning um those books again for any of you that are interested these are the two main ones i use for um sabbats by edane mccoy and the magical year danu forest two really really good books uh, i have got more but be here forever <laughs> getting all the books out um so yeah if anyone's got any questions around you know lunar sads and that you know the energy of that particular sabbat just give us a shout um pardon me i was using this this morning oh amazing thing happened this morning i did my Kundalini. I was working on. I did my um, my grounding, uh, which takes about half an hour, and then working on the heart and the pituitary gland or third eye. Yeah. So it was all really, really good. And at the end, I just felt it is. Oh well, I didn't actually have a choice. I went into a meditative state with my whoopsie my hypersthene in my left hand and my vesuvianite in my right hand yeah something very interesting happened with the vesuvianite it felt like it was spinning in the palm of my hand and it felt it felt like someone was pressing my thumb like that yeah just had their had their finger it was only finger it wasn't a hand it was like a finger on my thumb pressing it yeah just quite interesting 
Um, and then, hang on, because I wrote it down, what happened. I have to write it down, otherwise it goes out of my head. Um, where is it? Do, 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 do. Uh, meditation. And I was getting some really big tingles up and down my arms and through my hands. And then the tingles stopped and I got big visuals right in my face, like a television screen was right in front of my face. Now, when I get visuals, it's not like watching the telly. It's not clear images. It's, it's kind of fuzzy images. But I know what they are, if that makes sense. Uh, Christian, um, tomorrow is 3 p.m. on Zoom. But I will post all the details because I haven't actually put it in events yet. I haven't had the time to do that. Uh, but I will post it tomorrow morning um, in, in the group. Okay. Um, yeah, so I was getting these mad visuals and these, these, you know, the feelings that come with it, yeah, um, around our business and, you know, how, moving forward with it. Um, and also where we're going in ourselves, physically in ourselves. Um, so that was very interesting experience. <laughs> And then it's like I got all that, and I got no. I've been told to go with Ian on Thursday to his spiritualist church. I don't usually go, but I've been told to go because there will be a message for me. I'm like, okay. So what I will do around the Jupiter Mojo bag making, I will pre-record it, and it will be posted um, in the group. Okay, because I don't want to leave you hanging with that because it's really good stuff to do. Um. <laughs> and then at the end it's like use a small ring binder for your book of shadows I'm like do I have to because <laughs> I like buying books <laughs> and I have loads everywhere like little notebooks and actually it does get a bit annoying because you can't remember what's in what notebook so I think I look for a little ring binder I don't want a big one just a little one to keep all my book of shadows stuff in the messages you get in it it amazes me it really does so this this chime is sunray it's quite a nice one and also i got something today new cards <laughs> that's what was printing off on the computer it stopped now because it's run out of paper um amazing cards these are amazing amazing cards we saw someone using them on a facebook live and they instantly caught my attention yeah and they are pretty they're really really cool cards they've got the illustrations on them are amazing for a start. Um, but they're gilded. They're gold. <laughs> I'll just pick a couple for you. Okay, that's one. Mask. Ooh. Very cool cards. Uh, I'll just get another one for you. La, 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 of explanations in German. No. <laughs> I'm not doing that. So I've been printing off the uh, booklet for it. 
they are truly amazing cards got them on amazon they were 13 pounds something so they weren't very expensive but yeah they're amazing they're gilded i've never seen like on the edges you know gilded tarot cards they're very very cool so yes i think on the next um next time we do tarot on a magic monday it will be with these you know um give them a go see how they work so yeah they are called gilded reverie whoops lenormand very very cool cards not expensive um yeah and i've got them on amazon you could probably get them on ebay as well if you wanted to um they are, aren't they, Laurie? They're, they're really beautiful cards. Uh, so I, I don't often wow at tarot cards because I, if I get the wrong ones, I can't read them. Um, but these ones, when I saw them, <laughs> and it took us a while to find them because we didn't know what they were called. All we knew, yeah, <laughs> all we could go on was that it had a number up in the corner like that and it had like the, the suit and the number down at the bottom and the one card that i saw was of a clock yeah it looks a little bit steampunky and uh so we were, ian bless him i gave up and ian carried on looking for him and he found them so then once once i knew what they were called i then went looking but yeah they're quite quite beautiful cards gilded reverie so yeah, I'm going to enjoy reading those on the next Magic Monday where we do tarot. So yes, lovely, lovely. Um, okay, so I'm going to go and finish printing off this booklet because <laughs> it's stopped, it's run out of paper. God damn it. Um, we'll see you tomorrow for the Lunar Sad Ritual, which is 3 p.m. UK time. That would be 10 a.m. Eastern, 9 a.m. Central, 6 a.m. <laughs> Pacific, maybe? Or was it 7? 6 was that? I don't know. Uh, 7, I think. 7 a.m. Um, Pacific. <laughs> um but what I will do, I will, it will be in Zoom, yeah? And what I'll do is I will post the video in the group afterwards so that you can uh, watch the replay, yeah? If, if 7 a.m. is a little bit early, I quite understand. <laughs> um, and then on Thursday... Uh, I will post um, a video up on how to make mojo bags, yeah, because um, I won't be here Thursday. Um, I've been told to go somewhere else on Thursday, so I better do as I'm told. <laughs> I'm following the clues, so I better follow this clue because it's important. Um, and then Friday, 2 p.m., there will be the first of the three self-healing videos myself and Ian are doing again that will be in zoom okay because it's a, it's going to be a conversation um around that hi joy <laughs> um so yeah um and then next next week is kind of back to normal because <laughs> there's something going on every day this week it's a bit mad next week's back to normal again um Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. It's my birthday next week. Oh my God. So we're back to, yeah, uh, Thursday next week. Um, and we've got a dark and a new moon next week as well. So that's, um, I'm not sure what we're going to do for that yet. We shall see. So. Do you have any questions about Lunasad? Just down there. 
Um, and I hope to see you tomorrow for the ritual. Um, anything else? I don't think so. Be fearless, stay witchy, live long and prosper. Blessings.